But now, you walked in, and I'm telling you about who you are and John Waterwitz and the whole Dog Day afternoon story, <laughs> and your picture's up there on the wall. He didn't know the name. Now, how the hell do you two know each other? I, it's a long time. It's been a long time. Well, come yeah. on, cough it up. What's the story? Well, I, listen, when yeah. you're in the village, yeah. and you're moving around, and you're meeting people. You get people, to meet people. A yeah. lot of people. Yeah. Now, you're in the village moving around doing what? Doing one what? One hanging yeah. out. Hanging out. And you came to one of our picnics on the pier. You see? Yeah. But, but was there anything like dealing drugs or hustling right? or? He, know, he knows Coco. You know Coco? I have to look at the picture because I know there's a couple of... There's oh, man, you can't... You'll never forget Coco. Because yeah. if she hardly knows you, she'll say, Hi, how are you? Like, she'll give you the screen. Even somebody she doesn't even hardly know. Uh, yeah. Hi, you like the village? And you think it's somebody she's known for years. Uh, you find out she that never... Picture, man, uh, so we can eat. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so eat. Uh, but anyway, so how you just you know, so there wasn't anything like you weren't like, and you weren't involved in. I don't, I'm trying to put filming? you in. I'm not trying to. Yeah, I'm not trying to put you to get oh, the battery sign anyway. Okay. But I'm not trying to lock you into some confession about. Yeah, yeah we used to buy deal pot or we used to. No, uh, no, 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 no. You actually were no. just hangers on in the village, just gay bars or what? No, we'd meet on the pier yeah. or sometimes at a bar. So you were you were kind of the trash that hung out in that pier. The white people oh, want to get rid of all those Spanish, all those, all on. those Spanish, Spanish and African American people that it was in their neighborhood, and they came down there, and that was one of the big fights, you know, because the locals, they they got pissed. Even a gay guy on Gay Street, on Christopher Street, because he got pissed because what happened? These queens poured in, they didn't spend any money, they played their radios loud, they screamed all night at four o'clock in the morning. That have their Spanish music blaring them on a, a boom box under their window, mm. hanging out, and he couldn't sleep because he didn't have air conditioning, so they'd keep him awake. And all the neighborhood wanted to get rid of this these fucking people. They don't live here. Why they come here and party under our window? The counter argument to this was these people were all gay refugees from Brooklyn and the Bronx and Harlem, wherever, and they it was the only place they could hang out without getting their fucking heads beat in by the local thugs, mm. you know. Right. So it was a very interesting thing in which it was a ref the village was a refuge for people without money, just like it was a refuge for artists and jazz musicians yeah. and all that. But in this case, it happened to be street people. Where the other guys stayed at home and I guess played jazz in their apartments and kept the neighbor awake. But these kids hung out on the street and raised hell all night. Are you on camcord mode? I'm on camcord mode. Oh boy, now. See, so now, so what did you, you, did you used to have a boom box or anything like? Did everyone. you used to have any? We, we we used to bring to the pier, not not under somebody. Right. Oh, I right. I know that, right? I'm not, I'm not accusing you of being low life. You were working in a bank. He, I told him that you worked in a bank too. I worked uh, 14 Wall Street. 14 Wall. Bankers Trust. Okay. And, no and where did you, and where did you work? Chase. Chase, that was right around the corner for me. Ah. So two bankers. I worked for, with municipal bonds. Okay. The bankers trust. 